these people, man. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? I'm ready. Your daddy? Hey. Will you sit? Please? All Thank ready? you for coming. Okay, what's with the get up? It's a cozy little joint. Doesn't really yeah. match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one on one. Here we are, then. What is it? I. I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. Mm-hmm. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? No rush. Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, a, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. And so do you. Also, he stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Uh. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear to God. Or you could he just forgot. In such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident then they wiped any record of our conversation it was as if it had never happened so i'm begging you v jefferson can't find out about any of this ever his life depends on it
What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Hey. Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it'll destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. You truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? Yeah. I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Yep. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. Night City, expect the unexpected. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. I'm ready. <sighs> man, now Julio's a real ready. bastardo, man. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Yeah. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Goddamn. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. But it's a weak lead. Uh, too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. 
You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. This guy. are in need of rescue and who but you could save those sworn to protect us fine now these two little piggies went to market struck a deal with one of Hanson's men Dodger <clears throat> what could go wrong you think correct everything Stella the fiance of one of our officers will fill you in best of luck get in Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Hey. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Pretty comfy, actually, this. Need your help with my fiance Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade eight gonks too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Move to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Oh. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take okay. this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. So he says, Upsides that job? Of last gen NCPD tech, huh? So need to watch. Please. Ready? Dodger still ain't here. One long ass drive. Organic food continues. It's supposed to be here like an hour ago. Yup. Except he's not. We don't need that. Thank you. 
What? Oh, from here. Let's dump him. Go down. For Christ's sake, there's a switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right? My fucking right. Pressed it. Nothing happened. Hello? Someone out there. Someone out there. Who's asking, Charlie or Bill? It's Charlie. So Stella did manage to find someone. Thank fuck. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing. Little help. Won't budge. Need your help. Better step back. What the Jesus fuck? fucking Christ. I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the. Ooh. This is Bill. Hi. Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, I I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill. Got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table <laughs> you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Bet it'd take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one Plan who set up the deal with was Dodger! was rock fucking solid! If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie! How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You say drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodgers put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? Yeah. So we're here, waiting on Dodger. When Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek oh, tr track it, tra f fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Is 
Stella was right. You two are bona fide jackasses. Good. We panicked, all right? Shit happens. It's... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Hey. <laughs> yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right. Let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Hey! <laughs> nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Always value you. Only if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. You know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Eh, yeah, there's something behind. Dodge your school! Careful! Huh? Oh, you're fucked now! Hey, no killing, all right? Got enough problems as it is. Shit, another door. It's sealed tight. Again? Come on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? Got to be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. Okay, so we'll write that. Gotcha. There's something here. Serious scratch to be made of Ooh. Oh, come on. Ooh, machete. Dense marrow. Cyberware. Nice. Our squad yeah, car is nice. right through here. 
You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Kill, Chum. Got them right here. These people, man. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh. <laughs> They look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's mm -hmm. that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us! Per se. Eat shit! Oh, Safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup. Nothing left but hop in your ride and flee the scene. I'm sure you can manage that much. <laughs> so we going on? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in. in okay, let me see what I got. Wait, I'll get Stella on the auto first. Alrighty. V. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go do this one. Oh, this guy. You want blood? Is that why you're here? V. Ha ha ha! What a coincidence! So it's you I'm fighting. Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. <laughs> so, and lace up, lay down some cash, and let's have some fun. Yeah, let's go. Maybe I'm upping the stakes, yeah. If we're doing this, it's for serious scratch. I'm upping the stakes. Oh, I see you're not joking around. No problem. I'll sweeten the pot. Come with me. All right, let's go. Uh, let me just uh, health booster Ram jolt is fine stamina booster health stamina region you two are ready to start start yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. May the best crawler win! I didn't know I could use my Sender Vistan. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh fuck! V! V is your winner! By 
my technical knockout. You can only take it and get out of here. Thanks. And hey, listen, I, I'm not the one who lodged that grenade in his face. Just get lost, okay? I tell. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't know it would happen like that. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't know it would happen. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for him. 